After Islamist militants seized a gas plant in the Algerian desert on Wednesday, reports now say that some of the foreign hostages have been killed. The Algerian authorities have yet to release official casualty figures. The gas facility was seized after France sent troops last week to combat Islamist insurgents in neighboring Mali. EU foreign ministers who were holding a snap meeting in Brussels to discuss the Malian conflict refused to comment. Only the Malian foreign policy minister told reporters in Brussels that he believes there is a link between the Malian rebels and Algerian militants. Depuis plusieurs années, on assiste à des prises d'otages. Mais ce que ça prouve simplement, c'est que euh, ces forces obscurantistes, euh, djihadistes, officines du narcotrafic international, euh, sont installées partout dans notre sous-région. C'est ce que ça prouve. Et ça révèle leur vraie nature à la face du monde. C'est ça que nous devons retenir. Euh, Est-ce qu'ils sont préparés Mais bien, bien entendu, ils sont préparés. Leur, leur projet est simplement criminel. Il n'a rien de politique. C'est une entreprise criminelle qu'ils veulent installer dans une partie du monde et, et, et pour tous nous soumettre à cela. Donc c'est une véritable menace contre la civilisation. Meanwhile, EU foreign ministers agreed on Thursday to speed up the deployment of the EU military training mission to Mali. We agreed to establish the EU mission to train and advise the Malian armed forces and we appointed French Brigadier General Francois Lecontre as the mission commander. The first technical team for this mission will start preparatory work in Mali in the coming few days. It was very good to hear from uh, the minister, from Minister Koulibaly, that he was committed to adopting a roadmap. He described it as having two elements. The first was to recover the north, I think was how he described it, to bring back the north uh, to the country. And the second, with which we also have great interest, is about the roadmap towards elections. Last week, France sent over 700 troops to fight the Malian Islamist who seized the north of the country last spring. The unexpected French move received widespread international support. The EU has so far refused any plans of taking a combat role in the conflict. However, the French Foreign Affairs Minister said that France is not alone. La France est un précurseur, mais euh, il est normal que la solidarité européenne s'exprime. Tous les pays européens sont concernés par le terrorisme. EU development aid money was frozen when the jihadists took control of northern Mali last spring, but EU funds could be released again if the country commits to an election roadmap, according to the EU.